Hello everybody, my name's Blue, and today we're doing another build for the Grassland Zoo, or whatever it's called. I haven't really found a name yet for this zoo since I, I, will, I didn't really plan to, to have this zoo initially. But yeah, the Grassland Zoo. So today we're, we're doing the Nine-Banded Armadillo, and it's going to be like a like Armadillo Cafe. It's going to be an indoor build, basically. So it's it's a combination of an armadillo exhibit and a restaurant. I really like the armadillo. I think it's probably the best model when it comes to the actual quality of the model. The armadillo is is probably the best. It, even like the, the the tiny like fur textures it ha has on its belly and stuff, it's it's really good. And then the the actual back, the actual rest of the body, the yeah, the texture is really detailed. So props to um, Frontier on that one. So yeah, this is going to be a indoor build. Uh, the last video went well, so I thought, you know, I'm gonna continue on this series and doing the armadillo this time. It's a shorter build though, because obviously armadillos are quite small, so there's not a lot to build. That's why I added the restaurant as well, just to have some more content, because having just the armadillos would have been quite a, a, a short video. But I think it worked out well. It's a, it's yet again like a modern build, uh, mixed with the sandstone, just like the striped hay. I think that this will be a reoccurring theme. And I, I like doing modern, actually. I don't do it a lot. I'm not really experienced with like modern, but I like it. Mostly I do stuff like Southeast Asian and, and like North African and some very like themed to a culture. And this is more just modern new world, but it's fun. It's really good. And this, this building is actually inspired by a Starbucks. I don't know which Starbucks, I don't know where it is. But I just saw it online and it looked really good. It had this like big window on the side, just like I'm doing here. And it had this like wood. It was modern. It it's like these woody, sticky out bits. And basically I just did sandstone instead of the wood. But also using that idea of, of having like a sandstone as a accent. And having then obviously the plaster as the main um like material I suppose but yeah this is what I was talking about this is like a, a sandstone thing that sticks out of the build a little viewpoint I suppose you can it's like a little tiny balcony um, and yeah it, it, it worked out good uh, the roof is made out of the corrugated metal from the Australia pack and also for this build I'm using a lot of the trim pieces from the Twilight pack. I think it's not trim, I think it's called beam. I think it's called the Twilight beam or like medium beam, Twilight medium beam, something like that. And then here I'm reusing the fence from the previous build using that same uh, metal fence but just recoloring it black. Uh, this will be the actual entrance of the building, the main entrance. There will also be like a restaurant entrance on the side for the guests. It's like a functional like entrance to the restaurant building from the game. But this is this is the, the like the main building entrance, I suppose, where you can have a, like go and sit and have a look at the armadillos and stuff like that. Because the armadillos will actually be inside at the dining area, I suppose. So yeah. And yeah, armadillos. They're they're a nice addition because it's, it adds another North American animal, which is cool. We, we already had quite a few, but specifically it adds a, like a desert animal. We don't have a lot of North American desert animals, so that's quite nice because we have a lot of North American desert plants, but you couldn't really use them in any, well, you could obviously, but you couldn't really use them correctly, I suppose, in, a, in any um, build, in any animal habitat because there weren't any desert animals from North America but they had they have some beautiful plants the game added some beautiful plants and you could use them with the prairie dog uh, when they added the prairie dog and now we have the armadillo as well I don't think there are any other 
North American desert animals, well, except for the uh, exhibit animals like the rattlesnake and the desert scorpion, I think, and the gila monster as well. But obviously, I mean, you could incorporate plants in there as well, but I'm talking about specifically habitat animals. So having the armadillo was a really nice addition, so I could actually utilize some of those desert plants I actually didn't add any cacti, although th those are like my favourite North American desert plants that there are. <laughs> that's a, that's quite a specific thing to have a favourite for a North American desert plant. But yeah, it, the cacti uh, are like the main reason I like the North American desert roster, I suppose. But I didn't use them for the armadillo because I felt like uh, it, it would be just. A, a danger hazard. I'm sure the armadillos know how to deal with cacti. It just seemed a bit dangerous. Also because the guests could touch it as well. I mean, you have you have cacti all over, like in, in planters and stuff, but I, I just didn't add any cacti. But I added some other uh, nice plants that I couldn't use before. Anyway, this is going to be the actual shelter of the armadillos using concrete to give this a utilitarian look. I always do concrete for shelters, well mostly I do because just to, you know, it feels like a zoo, you know. Uh, I do the same with like staff areas and stuff and then moving it to a more suited location. So this will be the outside area with just a low fence so you could pet it in theory but you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't pet the armadillos but you know you have a lot of these like exhibits in zoos, with, especially with like meerkats and, and porcupines and stuff where it's just a low fence you could lean on to the fence and stuff and children can can also look over it so you don't need like a glass window or anything and for an armadillo it's ideal because they're small so and um, and this is the inside of the shelter with like a little hatch for them to go outside and surprisingly the the actual like um, hitbox of the armadillo was really good. I didn't expect them to fit through that gap, but they do. So that's really cool. And then a door for realism, so the the keeper can supposedly exit and enter as well. The fence was quite annoying because it has like the problem with, with fences in game is you can't place enrichment items too close to a fence. I don't know why, but. That's just how it is, it's stupid. But I end up moving the fence a bit out so you so I could add enrichment items basically. Uh making uh well adding a, a texture to the wall as well, filling up the inside and you know the interior has to look as good as the exterior. So that's why I'm adding a ceiling out of the twilight door pieces, I think they are. Yeah, it, I love these pieces. I think they're supposed to be the doors, but I love to use them for everything. The Twilight Pack has some really nice pieces. So, yeah. Uh, the, the actual second or first, whatever you want to call it, um, floor has... Um, like It's more of a balcony than the whole floor, but you can't really reach the second floor because uh, I didn't add a staircase, basically. But it's just for aesthetic purposes and just to fill up the room. So I added the, a balcony. Yeah. Also, this was a nice backdrop. Um, it, had, it was basically just the twilight. Yeah, again, twilight pieces. It's basically just the twilight pieces, uh, like the the wood beams, in different orientations, like different heights and, and colors and stuff like that. And then here, adding the tro water trough and the food tray and stuff like that and some enrichment items to encourage them to go outside as well because otherwise they'll just stay inside and then yeah this is the balcony I was talking about using those same um, metal fences that I built in the previous build adding some structural support to the yeah the roof, well, not the roof, but like the yeah, ceiling, I suppose, yeah. And actually adding some ceiling fans. Yeah, I don't really use the ceiling fans a lot because, well, actually, I, I never use the ceiling fans 
but I, I I think it really works well with like this restaurant feeling ceiling fan. It just reminds me of restaurants for some reason, so that works really well. And then this window, I actually gave some blinds using the like uh, Planet Zoo. The, like these are just default pieces from the from Planet Zoo. Those the gutter pieces. The gutters really work well if you rotate them. You can use them as like some some shutters basically. And then another like planter up here just to break up the room a bit. And the plant will have just some grassland and like desert plants and stuff like that. Now for the actual habitat itself, it's basically just logs and little rocks. And then adding the grass, like flat grassland rocks at the bottom to give it a better like ground texture. Give it more of a grassland texture. And a lot of spotlights all around to light up the out like just light up it because it, it felt a bit dark so just to light up the actual habitat a bit with these spotlights so yeah and then after I add these last twigs I start doing the plants and I actually add this little desert tree which is really nice and just some grass basically the path was a bit finicky, but it worked eventually. And then I think in a minute I start doing the, like, oh yeah, the banners. Just to break it up a bit, I actually used the, I think it was the candle pieces for, like, the attachment parts for the rope. And then the tables and chairs. I think I may remove one of the chairs, like, one of the tables, so I could add a staircase somewhere. I may do that, not sure. And then, yeah, as I said, the plants will have some just basic these trees and then basically some flowers, yeah. And then now it's basically filling in. That's that's about it, really. That's the build done. <laughs> I'll do a, uh, a tour in a minute after the speed build. Just adding a trim, a entranceway for staff, and then I end up also adding... A nice entrance way for the restaurant entrance kind of shebang a simple planter and then that's that's everything done and then in a minute we'll hop to real time all right so here we are the armadillo cafe it's a small build, obviously for a small animal, but yeah, so you have the outside view with the cute little armadillos, and this is probably the best model in the like the whole game. The armadillo is really nice, it's really well done. And having a little drink there, so uh, there's a nice big indoor area, and then here is the entrance to the restaurant, if you want to enter the restaurant, and on the other side, over here, you can enter the restaurant as well and you can have a look at the armadillos. Here he is. Oh, going inside. And uh, a nice little tree here. And a nice little backdrop. And obviously you can have a sit here and enjoy your meal whilst looking at the armadillos. And there's also an upstairs, it's not actually like access to the upstairs, it's more, um, yeah, it's it's aesthetic purposes, but it looks good. And a little balcony here where you can sit on top and have a, have a wander outside as well, there's nothing to see outside, but you know, and a nice little plant area as well. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this build. If you want to see more of this grassland zoo, you can give suggestions of the next animal, maybe one of the new grassland animals from the grassland animal pack, or another animal if you'd like to see a specific animal, or if you want me to work on the Higashiyama Zoo, you, you can always request that as well, and I'll see you in the next video, bye bye!